Welcome back to the channel Tatsters. I'm back at a boot sale for the first time in about a week and a half, so it's good to be back. Didn't really want to take a break from boot sales like that, but that was the weather, been away. So I guess it's good to recharge, don't get sort of tat blur, sort of just keep looking at the same things, missing things. So hopefully fresh mind, fresh eyes, finding some good stuff. If you're new around here, my name's Jewel Dross. The channel's Retro Reselling. I basically buy and sell all kinds of secondhand and new items from boot sales, charity shops, auctions, places like that. Buy it cheap and then sell it online, mainly on eBay, Depop, Amazon, places like that. Sell it for a profit, that's my business. I've actually been around already, so I already know how it's been. Uh, like I said, this Saturday one is currently my favorite, but will it stand up to that sort of name? I'll let you find out. Back in a few clips and I'll see you back at my unit and I'll show you what I got. See you in a bit. How much for the Monopoly? Uh, one fifty. Yeah, I'll take that, please. There you go. Yeah, so I got a bag. Oh, okay. It's okay. Yeah, thank you. Thanks. Cheers. You're right. How, How you doing? doing? Must be back here. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, I've yeah. been to one for a while. How much for trainers? Eight pounds. We do five pounds? No, eight pounds. That's me eight. Yeah. Right. Oh, thanks. How much on the steam iron? Would you take 10? Yeah. Yeah? Thank you. Are you selling it? Are you selling it? Oh, okay, there you go. There you go. Thank you. Cheers. Thanks. There you go. Thanks. I want eight quid for the lot. It's because I changed the colour of the lounge. Yeah. They all got the tags on from the range. I only bought my mum, you know. Oh, yeah. And it's like I changed the colour of the lounge, so. West German. Yeah. That's a big one. Yeah, and the <laughs> other one. That's the, uh, what's it? That's called the uh, volcanic mm. one. All right. On eBay at the moment, there's one on that, uh, that one of those on eBay. And the, they're bidding 47 on it at the moment. I want 35 for both of them. Okay, 35 pounds each. Yeah. And that little one is West German as well. All right. Yeah, you can see they've been looked after. Yeah, no yeah. tips or anything. Yeah. Well, I had those in them, you see. Yeah. There's flowers in them, but I've decided to change the decor, and I thought, well, yeah. it's time to make a move. And yeah, we've got similar. We've got like peacock feathers in ours and yeah. stuff. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's that's the, called the volcanic one. Isn't it, eh? <laughs> the volcanic one. <laughs> so? Oh. How much on the steering wheel? 
it's the set. They, the pigeons right. in the steering wheel is 25. Okay. 50p. How about that? Okay. It's just one of them things you go, yeah, yeah. yeah I've one of them, I could have done it, you know? Yeah. How much are the golf shoes? Maybe 20 quid, you know. Okay. They're brand new. Someone had too much money, I couldn't bother to take them back. Yeah. <laughs> we do 15? No, I can't. No? At the end of the day, there might be, but they'll be gone before that. All right. I'll take them. Yep. Please, yeah. Can you see they've got studs and all that in there? Yeah, I saw that, yeah, it's fine. In there. Yeah. There you go. Thank, thank you very much. Cheers, thank yes. you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Hi, Mum. 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 Hi, no, I haven't really got a clue. Oh, no. it's a little bit of bears. No, not punch, it's just a little bit of bear, mate. How much is that one? Three quid. I'll take that one, please. That's not one for a quid, it's worth it, isn't it? That's alright, I'll just have How much on the typewriter? I'm looking for a tenner for that, Mike. It's okay. quite old, isn't it? Yeah, quite yeah, really. It is, yeah. Yeah. It's all worked and have a nice case for it as well. Yeah. It's all, it's all uh, old, yeah. We do eight pounds? Oh, go on then. Eight, yeah. yeah. This should be back in this case that I like. Yeah. Get that, it should be another one of there. Yeah, I think the lid just sluts on, doesn't it? That's it, just put some right. around the front. Right, Lovely, cheers, thanks. thanks a lot. Oop, cheers. cheers. Got it? Yeah, I got it. Thanks a lot. Do you want that dagger properly appraised? Who's right? There's a bloke over there, I know. Like over for it. Yeah, he's uh, really good at trade. Yeah. He would know. So, a nice little table fall again. So, this probably still remains my favourite boot sale throughout the whole week, even Sundays when it's supposed to be in the main boot sailing day, the Saturday one just keeps providing, which is good. Long may it continue. All in all, including getting in, I've spent 73 pounds uh, and that's nothing compared to some of the returns I'm gonna get here. So one by one, I'm gonna go through each one, what I paid for it, why I picked it up, and hopefully what I'm gonna be listing it for online. So we'll start this end and we've got a steam generator iron. Picked up these a couple of times this year. They tend to go well and sell quite quickly. This is a Philips Perfect Care Pure. And I know these sell well and I know these perform well because we've got one similar ourselves at home. They perform really well. Uh, I don't know if anyone has heard of Witch, like Witch Reviews, but we've signed up to a monthly thing. They test bits and bobs around the house and everything, including like steam irons. And Philips Perfect Care always get good results, like Witch Best Buys and things. So yeah, good name with good like Witch results that can go well if you've got a Best Buy sort of thing. People are always looking to buy these because they perform well. Paid £10. Uh, this should be sort of £60 to £80 pre-owned. Uh, obviously test it, make sure it's all working. Make sure it's not all scaled up because we've got really hard water down here in Essex. So things scale up quite quickly, which is a pain in the bum. Make sure it's all good and working. And yeah, 10 into hopefully 60 to 80 Started to pick up Vintage Monopoly, paid £1.50. This will go to Amazon FBA, round now, £20-£25, or if it's still there at Christmas, £25.30. Standard. It's like a bit different here. Got a basketball. Uh, this is Baden Perfection, uh, part of the British Basketball League. I used to play basketball growing up as a youngster and teenager. Uh, this was the ball that used to be used like in competitions and things. So yeah, really good name. Feels really nice on the hand. Just be aware, basketballs come in different sizes. I think it's like one up to seven. Seven is standard adult size, which this is. Paid three pounds. Uh, this should be sort of 25, 30 pounds. Lightly used, looks hardly used at all, but still got to say it's used. Just in like mint condition. Awesome. These are nice, a pair of Echo golf shoes, brand new with the tags in the box as well. 
pay to 20 pounds so paying up a little bit uh well it seems like paying up uh but these are very expensive new you've got a gore-tex that like waterproof material so good name again women's size six uh but that shouldn't be a problem good material to be made from good brand and everything brand new with the box these are over 100 pounds when in the shops so on ebay probably going to list at 75 to 85 see how that gets on so my 20 pound investment is safe there just a shame we're coming up to the end of summer now so hopefully they go quick if i can list them quick and then hopefully someone picks them up before obviously the horrible weather comes in but if not i might have to sit on these for a while unless we have good um autumn weather this was a little bolo be on the lookout uh smith corona calypso typewriter just a little typewriter it's got his travel case bit of yellowing up to the top the inside is nice and clean looks really good it all works and everything had a quick go while i was there sometimes the space bar doesn't work or this doesn't move so yeah just give it a test while you're out in the field should be all good nice bluey greeny teal color which seems to be quite a rare color with this calypso looked them up and this should be another 60 to 80 pound sale believe it or not so definitely if you see smith corona they make quite a lot of typewriters they can differ in price range but a smith corona calypso in this color if you see it pick it up really high margins to be had i even bought it from a dealer and he didn't seem to know what it was it was just a vintage typewriter to him but i knew uh, this looks different so sort of double checked my research as well and i was definitely right yeah 60 to 80 from eight pounds cracking group of adidas gazelle uh, these are women's size six a little bit of wear that's to be expected overall very good condition paid eight pounds for these they're not anything too special really with adidas uh, the gazelles just a nice decent shoe a high seller for them i believe um lots of wear left ideally i wanted to get them for a fiver because they're sort of a 25 maybe pushing 30 pounds shoe but paid a uh, still good markup it's easy to post and it should be quick to sell uh, nice color as well like a baby blue color bargain of the day definitely by a long shot was these boots here uh, burgess gore-tex boots again that name gore-tex that means it's waterproof the material it's made from so you don't get wet feet well see they've been used uh, so they need a little clean up make them look good in the pictures uh, this is a really good brand to look out for burgess they make outdoor clothing and equipment and things uh, it's not cheap to buy a brand new uh, paid only two pound for this pair of boots uh, no damage at all just to wear like i said plenty of tread left yeah bargain of the day because this two pounds should be into 45 50 60 pounds pushing obviously it depends how much i can clean them up if they're looking really good i'll push up the 60 pound price if it's more i can't really get rid of the fade in a bit maybe 45 50 but from two pounds there's no going wrong there awesome and the last three pickups are from the same subscriber seller so thanks sonny for this deal again we've got the um model kit submarine hockey mask and a pair of football boots i start with the pair of football boots first because i helped them out a little bit puma esito i think these are called they look like puma kings i wish they were if they were puma kings these would be like worth good money but this is more of a standard like basic type model I'm not sure what the difference is they look exactly the same but paid five and these are only going for about 15 ish pounds might push for 20 and then accept offers of 15 ish so five to 15 not amazing but with contacts you've got to help them out because they help you out at the same time which is why i'll come on to this one i'll come on to this one first nike uh ice hockey mask nice men's size i think it's a large can't see the size but it looks like a large men's size i believe ice hockey is the fastest growing sport or uh, indoor sport in this country so should sell fast gaining popularity we've got a local team here in chelmsford so it might even go local on facebook uh paid five pounds this should be 20 25 30 maybe a bit of wear here looks like it's taken a couple of knocks but um yeah overall good condition made by nike paid five bill payer i say about helping regulars out it's like with these five to 15 not amazing not great but then at the same time i bought this for only 10 pounds uh this vintage german submarine uh pack obviously it's a model kit uh if you can look inside obviously if it's all unused then you're on to a winner which this is uh it's been opened like the box has taken a bit of a beating but all the contents are new in bags still got all the stickers got the instruction manual that was awesome uh took a chance it was 10 pounds looked it up briefly 
this should be a nice 40 50 60 pound sale again depending if this box condition affects like collectors or people that want to buy it so obviously it's not in the best condition it's been dog-eared someone's obviously bought it opened it and never got around to building it 10 pounds is safe again hopefully yeah 40 to 50 which is awesome and then just to finish off sold two badges overnight from yesterday's video we've got guy tomlinson didn't leave a note but bought a single badge so thanks for that um guy that'll be on its way to you this morning and then another single badge sale this is from kirsty she left a little note my husband is a subscriber on your channel and loves watching your pickups please do a shout out for neil on his 40th birthday this pin is for him thank you kirsty happy birthday neil happy 40th apparently 40 is the new 20 so <laughs> no looking back from there uh, yeah, again, thanks Kirsty for the badge. Hopefully it brings him good reselling luck. Thanks to everyone again. So I'm a very happy boy again. Uh, really good stuff here. Lots of profit to be made. Only spent £73, I think it was in total. So one or two of these items, it's going to pay for a whole lot. And then the rest is just pure profit, pure gravy, as I say. Really happy again. This one remains my favourite. This seems it's a Saturday, it's the start of the weekend. Get up, got a coffee, walk around casually pick up really cool stuff and then just list it throughout the week make loads of money wish every boot sales like that hopefully if it's quite windy today hopefully the rain stays away it's a bit iffy but should be at two boot sales tomorrow i forgot my cart today i've got a reselling cart like wagon thing i'll bring that home with me today so i can use that tomorrow um so yeah stay tuned to the channel i will be filming sunday i was taking a break from sunday filming because it's so busy i'll film tomorrow I'll keep my word on that as well. My cart's going to come along with me. So to see how I get on with it and my little review on it. So subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell most importantly so you get notified as soon as I upload new videos or if I go live. You'll get notified straight away so you can join in. And with that being said, that's me done. Hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a like if you did enjoy it. I'll see you in the next one. See you later.